Xbox Series X games leaked? Animal Crossing getting banned? This video should be lit. Oh, we have a terrible... Reggie, please, the man! OB1 plays? That's right, what's up? All right. OB1 plays? Thumbs up where the ex con gang at. Boy. All right, we have some dope news items for this video. In my last video, I was just talking about the potential games coming to the Xbox Series X, and we got a big leak from a reliable source. Twitter user Shinobi602. He's been right before on leaks. He's teased coming to the Xbox Series X will be, and I quote, reboots, gorgeous worlds, and big and a big sci-fi game. It's heading to Xbox. And he continues to say that Xbox fans won't have to wait much longer to see these games. Now, um, Phil Spencer, he was just interviewed, which I shared in a previous video, how he said going forward, Microsoft is gonna focus more on games. They already got the hardware. The hardware is lit. Now we just need to erase that stigma of Xbox don't have no games. Even though I'm playing games on my Xbox every single day, I don't know what dude's talking about. But, um, they, they have to erase that perception this generation, and I think they're going to do it invested heavily in gaming studios, and E3 is right around the corner. E3 this year is going to be all digital perfect, bro. More time for games, less time for fluff. Dudes walking on the stage, awkward interactions, walking back off the stage. We're going to wait for any of that. It's just going to be games after games after games now fans 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 are saying two games are um, possibly being referred to um, they're saying gorgeous fantasy worlds they're saying that it uh, it's uh, mentioning fable the next fable games um, that's what many fans according to comicbook.com are saying that his um, leak is referring to one and all new Fable game which has been heavily rumored Fable 4 is being in the works but the next one bro that's why I have the Nintendo 64 gift bro there's a method to the madness to all my gifts in my videos but the Nintendo 64 gift why perfect dark on the Nintendo 64 rare bro they're saying that the reboot is referring to an all-new Perfect Dark game, possibly made by the initiative, the new studio that was just formed to make um, um, Xbox first-party games. I'm here for that, bro. Imagine this game um, utilizing the power of the Xbox Series X would be lit. All right, so can't wait can't wait for e3 can't wait to see what xbox has in store for the console um going into holiday should be lit should be lit now the next news item i thought this was crazy bro animal crossing is being pulled from um electronic sales in J in china i was about to say japan <laughs> japan nintendo that ain't happening in china why Users in the game are using the game to protest the Chinese government <laughs> and 
the leadership in the Chinese government. This is a screen cap. I don't speak Chinese. If you speak Chinese, you can translate it. But this is protest. They're protesting <laughs> the Chinese government. My dude got a gas mask on. <laughs> and because there's so many protests, they're pulling the game. Animal Crossing. You can pretty much do every, anything in the game. Uh, to its credit, I've seen some creative islands. They're protesting the game. And so the Chinese government saying, we ain't about that life. They are pulling Animal Crossing from China. As Trump would say, China. <laughs> All right. Next news item. The dual sense continues to make headlines, ladies and gentlemen. And not for a great reason. I have to say, I have to admit, I give credit where credit is due. I thought the controller looked lit, bro. I'm like, okay, it looks lit. They copied Xbox. It's a cool design. But people are just trolling the dual sense and so this is an article from distractify.com and they just have different posts um trolling the dual sense controller on the left xbox controller versus playstation 5 controller real spider-man fake spider-man <laughs> uh, this one says xbox one and ps4 had a baby and they made the ps5 controller that's what this tweet says but i'm coming to the a good one in a second when Xbox controller meets the new PlayStation 5 controller. That's a, a famous meme of Spider-Man pointing at his own own self. <laughs> the designer of Xbox controller at the PS5 controller. Drake! <laughs> um, Sony, here's the dual says PS5 controller. Us. It looks like an Xbox controller. <laughs> uh, they compared it to Eve from Wally. And my favorite one. Oh, this one first it says ah that's better the black one does look clean i like the like white one too bro they 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 crazy with this one <laughs> like teeth of a carnival <laughs> they are lying to you. but what are your thoughts on the dual sense controller i think the controller looks it looks good man i ain't knocking it and i don't think it looks bad at all bro all right next news item bro google stadia why the video ain't played bro now we gotta watch an ad in my video. But Google Stadia, the struggle is real right now for Google Stadia. I feel bad for dudes who bought it and realize the lag is real and there are no exclusives on this platform. <laughs> but Google Stadia is now offering a free two month Stadia Pro membership that's all the features all the benefits of the paid version of google stadia for two months they're saying because of the quarantine we want to look out for dude stayed at home but we really know it's not selling and that's why alicia ramos thanks for subscribing you just got in a giveaway alicia i'm giving away a 60 dollar nintendo switch xbox or playstation digital code any game of your choice but google stadia free right now and to end this video i just want to share bro a lot of dudes are playing that final fantasy 7 right now and that's lit i'm gonna eventually get the game when it comes out on the xbox series x um next year but i'm gonna start playing record definitive edition this game um for a lot of people that don't know it, it launched but it had a lot of technical hiccups um, the performance wasn't good and the end game sequence the fetch quest at the end game really turned a lot of people off but I didn't even know that a definitive edition was released for this game which uh, um, fixed a lot of the technical hiccups and changed the end game where you don't have to go back do a lot of backtracking anymore with that being said um, stay tuned sometime either tonight Tomorrow, I will be on that record um, to play this game. Dope, dope, dope game. The actual gameplay in the game is lit. Made by former Metroid Prime and Mega Man game developers. So, I'm um, gonna, gonna try this game out. All right, dude, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro. 
click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things game, bro. We out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.